Q&A for the fans. Okay, now tell me, where are you from? I'm from Assonet, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Okay, now do you make these flower arrangements or what? Tell me about this. My own flower shop, I do weddings. Lola's Floral. Lola's Floral! Lola's Floral! Go give Laura, Lola's Floral some love, okay? This is beautiful. You make these flower crowns? Do you make the flower crowns? Yes, I do. I do. I made that one just for you. Come on. Thank you. Just like you. <laughs> you're welcome. I'm so nervous. No, you're doing great. Have you ever had 5,000 people stare at you at the same time? <laughs> you are so kind. This is, this right here is pure joy to me. Look, my grandmother was a master gardener. We used to stay right on up here. I'm just going to do this, okay? So that I can help you, okay? Now look, my grandmother was a master. You can't be too, you can never be too silly if you have the microphone. <laughs> Um, my grandmother was a master gardener, okay? So my whole life, I was, I grew up around flowers. And people always think that the flowers are just like, ooh, whatever. No, they, they always mean something so significant to me. And her specialty was roses. So this right here is so full of love. And I, these right here, dahlias, those are my favorite flower. So for the next show, bring me a whole bouquet of dahlias. Okay, thank you. You're so happy. Get off, get off Thank you. How sweet. Well, I think I'm just going to wear this around my neck for the whole show. I have to. Look at that. It weighs 10 pounds. I'm like, I'm over here lifting weights. What? Hey, Davis, can I give this to you? Great shot. For the gram. Stupid. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> That's real life right there. Y'all, this is such a treasure. Well, this is where I, I typically talk about the Kaleidoscope Tour and why I named it the Kaleidoscope Tour. And this is exactly why. Just what you saw, okay? I, when I say I love the uniqueness of every night, every single night is something different. And I know that y'all aren't gonna take me serious with this wrapped around, around my neck, but, but it's just gonna be a part of my wardrobe right now. Every single night, there's something different. I love it, I love it, I love it. And here's the thing about a kaleidoscope, right? You get a kaleidoscope, and at the end, there's, and there's all these fragments and pieces and colors and shapes and sizes, and you stuff it into this one little spot. And when you put it up to the light, and you turn the dial, it always shows something different. There's always something unique, something profound, something gorgeous, honestly. Now, I, when I was a little girl, I would play with my Aunt Tracy's kaleidoscopes over and over and over again. I thought they were just so beautiful. And then when we started thinking about the tour, my manager came to me and she said, what about the kaleidoscope tour? And I said, all right, let me think on it. But what I started thinking about is that every single night, we bring all of our stories and all different shapes and sizes, fragments of our life, we get to bring in to this room, right? This one little confined space. And we get to take a moment to put it up to the light and say, Jesus, what do you want to do in my story? What is it that you want to be a part of tonight? What is it that you want to transform? How am I going to refract the light tonight? What is that going to look like? And what do you have in store for this room that's like no other room? We will never get this moment in time ever again. And when you turn the dial on a kaleidoscope, you will never see that image again. It can never happen twice. And that's how it feels. Each show is something so different because each one of you come along and you bring your stories. You bring your past, you bring your present, and we launch you right on into the future. And I hope that you just feel joy and you feel God's presence here tonight because that is the transforming power. There's nothing like it. Nothing like it. This song that we're about to do is one.